Okay, and we're back for part two here. So uh, we found out that um, we did have a translation. One thing that I need to do before we move on is mention, and sometimes we'll put this in a parenthetical remark here, for this integral to converge, we need S to be greater than three. So this Laplace transform only applies if S is greater than three. And similarly, this uh, Laplace transform will apply if S is greater than A. And these are not multiplied. These are just parenthetical uh, reminders that for this to work on our <clears throat> improper integral and for it to converge, that we need this condition to be true. All right, so we've just seen how the Laplace transform, um, if we take, and the function is just t, if we multiply by e to the at, what it does is it does a shift, a translation. Okay. Now the good news is it works on other uh, functions as well. So if I have some function that I need to do the Laplace transform of, and he has an e to the at factor, well, all I have to do is do the Laplace transform of f of t, and then just in place of s, put in s minus a, and do that translation. Okay. All right, so let's see this in action. So if we remember that the Laplace transform of cosine of kt is s over s squared plus k squared, if we take and do the Laplace transform of e to the at times cosine of t, it's gonna look almost the same, but with an important difference here. Okay, everywhere there was an s, we're now gonna stick in s minus a. Okay, all right, let's try that over here with our sine of kt. Well, remember that that guy is k over s squared plus k squared. Okay. So the Laplace transform of that, everywhere there's an s, I'm just going to, because of this e to the at factor, I'm going to put in s minus a. So this is going to be k over s minus a squared plus k squared. And we can um, even do not only just cosine of t or sine of t, but other things. So for example, if I wanted to do the Laplace transform of e to the 2t times t cubed, okay, remember that the Laplace transform of t cubed would be three factorial over s to the fourth power. So because of this guy right here, we're gonna end up doing a translation and we'll get three factorial over s to the fourth power, but instead of s, it's actually gonna be s minus two um, because of the translation factor here. And um, we're gonna remind ourselves that s has to be greater than two here. And for each of these guys, we're gonna remind ourselves that s has to be greater than a and s has to be greater than a. All right, so let's go ahead and let you try one here. Do the Laplace transform of e to the 2t cosine of 3t plus e to the negative 4t sine of 5t. Let's see. And we'll even pause the video to let you give that one a try. Let's see how you did. So uh, since the Laplace transform is linear, we can break him down over um, addition and subtraction. And um, so the Laplace transform of e to the 2t cosine of 3t will be s minus t over quantity s minus t squared plus 3 squared. Similarly, we do the Laplace transform for the second piece. And since there was a plus between, we can simply add them and a lot of times you'll see instead of the three squared, you'll see nine, and instead of the five squared, you'll see 25. Okay. So let's try it going backwards. 
let's do this guy right here. Let's find this inverse Laplace transform. So if this is f of s, who is f of little f of t? Well, um, looks kind of hard right now, but if we do a little bit of algebra, it won't be so bad. So if we do one over s squared plus two s, and then I'm gonna write the plus five right here. So, and let me slide that up so it's a little easier to see, okay. Um, I notice that I can complete the square, which will be nice because that might help me out here. So if I add one, I'm going to need to subtract one on the denominator to compensate for that. And so that is going to give me one over s squared plus two s plus one. The reason we did that was we completed the square. So we'll have s plus one squared plus four. And four, we notice, is two squared. Okay, so this is looking a lot friendlier. So this guy is still one over s plus one squared plus two squared. So he's looking a lot like the sine guy, except for the sine um, Laplace transform, we need the k to be what's being squared down in the bottom. And so we need this to be a two up here. Well, we don't have a two up there, so let's make a two. So let's times by a giant one, two over two, and we will then have one half times two over s plus one squared plus two squared, which now we can do the inverse Laplace transform to. And this guy right here, we recognize as e to the at times sine of kt, where a is, who to get an s plus one, a's gotta be a negative one. And our constant multiple will factor out. So we'll have one half times sine of two t times e to the negative one t. And sometimes we write the e to the negative t out front. Basically, we've got this guy. Okay. So uh, let me let you try this next one, and then we'll check our work together here. 